Okay, it's take two since I forgot to re enable my screen last attempt. Hey guys, I am going to create a tutorial for this video, which is basically how how to play audio files through vector in the vector SDK in Python. This is the video that I'm gonna do the tutorial off of. I'm doing this tutorial because several people have been asking and I haven't been replying, so I figured I'd reply and show people how to do it. So, I or I have already done this and of course I screwed it up. Um. So, by a uh, what? Uh, you need to download the right version of Python and the right version of Python. The SDK examples. I'm using SDK zero six zero apparently. You'll see the tenth file, playaudio.py. You want to open that up. When you open it, you'll see these two files. Uh, we'll see the two audio files I have selected: vector bell whistle and vector alert. Those audio files can be found in the root, and then you just go to examples and sounds. You just have to copy those and put them next to the project, I believe. Yeah, like like I have my audio file right here. It's a voice line I made. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's themed voice line by Mostly MC, which is my animation channel. Anyway, um, if If you try to play any old reg regular audio file, it'll most likely give you a audio format error, which will say audio format must be these specs. Now, to 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 get the audio ready for playing in vector, you can just use any of your audio editing programs. I use Audacity because it's easy to use and I can use it for other things other than this. Uh, this is the audio. These are voice lines I created a little while ago for my animation channel. I take it back on a second. Uh, that's why. You should have it set to a higher rate. Hold on. So that's what it sounds like. So the first thing you need you need to do is to match the part the audio hertz or H to Z or whatever it is. So you, in in, in Audacity you go down here where it says project rate, and you just click that little arrow and it'll drop down. You can do eight thousand eleven o twenty five or sixteen uh, thousand, and I I did the eleven. I might do 16,000 now because it's in range. And now if you replay it, the, it'll be extremely not as good. <laughs> the quality drops basically, but you need to do that to get it to play on vector. And then it says it needs to be one channel and mine is two channels. So by channels, they basically mean stereo and mono. So mine is currently stereo. You can tell because it has both of the both of like it has two tracks in the same file. I just go into tracks and I can hit mix mix stereo down to mono and that'll change it to one. So and then it says 16 bits. Mine is already 16 bits. I'm gonna assume you change that in here where the save as, at least in Audacity, wave Microsoft sign 16 bit, that's what I have it set to. So let's export this, shall we? I'm gonna hit export audio. 
not selected. Uh, it's already, I think it has to be a wave file. So I'm gonna do this. I wanna figure out where that is. I think it's in my coding file if I can find that. Ignore my terrible desktop, please. <laughs> so I wanna put this where my tutorial file is, I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna call it sample audio, but you can call it whatever you want. I don't. I don't think spaces work. So put like a put an underscore or something. And those you see this on Audacity. You can do that. If you don't have a video editor, I would recommend Audacity. It's really it's 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 good and it's free. So now back here we have my audios. I can delete that now. Scree. Nobody cares. Delete. So now if I take my sample, actually I don't want to delete that, I take it back. And anyway, now if I copy it's my, my, my audio name, and I come into the file, I can delete the second, uh, the second play audio, so I just have one, and then I copy the file name, and I change it to whatever file I want and that I've already converted. And then I can run it, and the vector should play it. I will probably show a separate clip for this because I'm using a headset and you guys can't hear it. So I'll play a separate clip after I just show you what it'll look like. So when you hit play, you'll see all the coding stuff. And you'll hear Vector play the audio. I'll probably put that audio up uh, like using my phone camera right about now. So here is what he, what it'll actually sound like. May I run it? And there's the sample audio. And that is just about the the tutorial. If I missed anything or if something isn't clear, feel free to comment. And I can try to help, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so ba so basically, uh, the the actual code trigger, audio file name, and then the seventy five is is like the the volume. You can set it set it to a max of a hundred, I believe. So yeah. Uh, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.